Hi, James here. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Me, I'm really feeling stoked because of the banner behind me and this great big Innovate banner that I have. And also, I've come across a new uh, software which I'm going to let you know in, in a short while. And it's actually a screen capture software. Now, you know that I've been making a lot of screen captures and my favorite uh, Swiss Army knife for screen capture is actually OBS or Open Broadcaster software. Now, the advantages of the Open Broadcaster software is I could do green, thing, green screening stuff like what I'm doing right now. You can do live streaming and it is truly like the Swiss Army knife. Uh, you can do all kinds of settings to it and um, you have full control, right? Whereas uh, this new tool that I'm going to uh, share with you and the name is called Loom or Use Loom. Uh, it is actually a very big, tool. it's a very simple tool that allows you to do probably about 80% uh, of what OBS can do. However, it doesn't, it allows you to do all that without having uh, to do all the settings. And uh, all you need to do is that you just install a browser uh, add-on or a browser extension, hint, hint. That means that it's going to be on uh, Google Chrome, right? So, uh, and you can actually just get started with that. So without much ado, let's switch on over to the other screen and see uh, what this software can do. All right, the software is HTTPS uh, useloom.com and the tagline that they use is actually faster than typing. So what you need to do is actually to uh, log in either with uh, Google uh, or use uh, Google uh, use uh, Outlook. Now, before you uh, do that, you need to head on to the bottom of this, uh, uh, this page to add the extension and click on add extension over here. And it will actually add an extension called add loom video recorder and screen webcam and mic to your computer or rather to Chrome browser. Now I've already installed this uh, so you can see that there's this extension over here. Uh, my uh, Chrome browser has already, I've already installed this extension. So I'm just going to log in with Google. All right, as you, so this is my homepage. And as you can see, I've already done a few test recording. All right, so in order to start recording, after you have added the extension, all right, so in order to hit the rec to start recording, you need to click on this button here uh, on your Chrome browser. And you have some settings out here that shows you uh, whether you want to switch on your camera, whether you want to switch on your mic, and what you want to capture. All right, so I'm going to do the capture first, okay? So you can actually capture just the cam alone. Uh, you can capture capture the current tab, which for example, if I'm open on this tab, then it would be the current tab or the entire desktop. Okay, so I'm just going to select desktop. If you select the current tab, it will change. All right. Uh, and then the next thing is actually to select the microphone. I'm going to select my microphone over here. Okay. So uh, the, uh, and that's going to be the default. And I can't select, if, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to select the camera, okay, which is the Logitech C920, which I have. Now, I'm going to switch off this recording and use Loom to do the recording because Loom and the OBS, which I use to record the screen, uh, both of them wants to take control of the webcam. And uh, if I don't uh, switch off uh, the webcam from OBS, Loom is not going to allow me to uh, do the recording and you won't see everything. Right. We are into Loom right now, and we are recording this uh, next segment here with uh, with uh, Loom. And I had to do some adjustment because uh, on my camera, on the uh, Logitech C920, when I record it the way I normally do, uh, the screen that you see is actually flipped over or actually mirrored. So I need to adjust that. So uh, that would be one thing. And as you can see, when you are recording, uh, right now, I'm actually recording the useloom.com website. So uh, there are some controls over there. You can adjust the camera. Uh, I can cancel the recording. I can save the recording. So uh, with useloom, the advantage of using this software as compared to say a different kind of screen capture software that is software is very easy to set up. So what you want to use it for is perhaps you want to uh, show something on screen and explain it for to somebody right like just what the loom website mentioned 
right? It is better than using words. So for example, if you are working with a uh, web designer and you want to make some changes uh, on your website, it is much easier to say that to point and do a recording and say, okay, I do not want this point here. For example, learn more. I want to remove this and you can actually just explain. Or if you have some documents, you want somebody to sign and there are maybe four or five places, you can tell them, okay, uh, uh, do a PDF on your computer screen, share that screen and tell people, well, this is the point that you want to sign and uh, initial and uh, you may want to run through some points. You can do that as well. So that would be some ways you can actually use, uh, use Loom, right, to uh, explain your point across, right? Now the advantage, the other advantage about Loom is that when you, when I click save, the video is already online. Well, the website or Loom would actually take some time to process that video, uh, but uh, once it's done, uh, you, I don't have to upload anything, so you don't have to wait for uploads for huge video files. Uh, so it will be much faster to share the link. Now, what about the disadvantages? Well, Loom is very easy, and if you are making Loom is very easy to use. So if you are making a quick video or you want to do some screen recording, it is very fast. Uh, the settings are all done automatically with the, with the, uh, basically with the lights and with the audio, uh, things are done. However, the quality of the video that I found once I download that video isn't as high as what I uh, prefer it to be. For example, uh, I only found out that each video is only about a hundred Sorry, it's about a thousand kilobits per second, and but a thousand three to thousand five, and that's including the audio. For normally recording that I do, I record at a much higher bit rate, around five or six thousand, depending on what sort of things I am recording. Now, all this is not such a big issue. For example, if you are running through some slideshows where the text is very big, however, if uh, I do uh, software explanation and sometimes the text is very small. That's where you I want the resolution and that's where I want the higher bit rates. All right, so this would be the pros and the cons of using Loom. And other than that, at this point in time, uh, Loom is uh, trying to grow their website or their use. So uh, in one of the videos, it says that uh, in order to make sure you have unlimited access to your videos, you need to refer somebody to use Loom. Uh, otherwise, after 24 hours, they will sort of gray out that video. The video is not deleted. It's just that you can't uh, see that video until you get your first referral. Uh, and by the time you get your second referral, you will have unlimited recording time. So I'm not sure how long is the recording time. Uh, I hope that I'm not going overboard and, uh, over my time and it doesn't allow me to save it. So uh, that will require you refer a second person and on the third referral, you get $15 towards new features. So I guess there will be some paid features that you need to uh, pay for. Uh, and that's where the, your money is uh, used. So all in, I think is actually a, a quite a decent software to use. And it will actually increase your arsenal if you want to do some screen recording quickly without installing a more sophisticated or more complicated software. So right now, uh, I have actually finished recording and the video is here. And the next thing I need to do is actually to give a recording a title. So let me just call this uh, recording number three. Okay, and that's that. So uh, I can play back the video by clicking here, play the video. All right, so it takes some time for, for the video to play. I could get the link here to share it, right? And uh, I could share it with, my, with anybody online, whether it's on uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, I can get the, the link. I can also uh, lock the video. For example, uh, if I only want certain people to see my video, I can use the permission. So the default is actually anyone with the link, but you can actually uh, create a password. And uh, let me just say it is a password. Right, and save it. So and only the person with the link and the password will be able to see that video that I've, up, uh, that I've created. And uh, I can also download the video by clicking here. And you know, uh, uh, you can notice a tab here that you can actually move and add a comment, right? So that there will also be uh, visual cues as, as, as you run through the video with other people 
or you want to make highlight certain points to the person watching your video. So all in, I think uh, Loom is a, a, a useful tool if you want to make some uh, quick screen capture videos with your webcam, right? Uh, you won't be able to do uh, green screening like what I'm doing right now with the uh, open broadcaster software and it doesn't do live stream. So uh, this would be the, uh, the, the uh, disadvantage, not really a disadvantage, but the feature of Loom. But it is actually quick, uh, quite easy for you to do a quick video. So as always, thanks for watching this video. I hope that this video has helped you. And if you uh, want to uh, get more, to be notified when I release a new video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of other things, especially, especially for business related things, you can head on over to my website at jameswoo.net and click subscribe to my newsletter. As always, do something small today to build a better business. James, out.